What's going on? Coach Dan with Black Diamond Mixed Martial Arts here today to talk about nutrition as it applies to MMA training. So pre-training nutrition as well as post-training nutrition. Um, fitness and nutrition as a whole is something we take seriously here at Black Diamond Mixed Martial Arts in Rhode Island. Uh, I myself went to the University of Rhode Island for my undergrad, went to UPenn for grad school, um, was trained in kinesiology, so study of body mechanics, got a lot of nutrition training in there. Coach Tim, who's our pro fighter, is actually running class right now, is a nutrition guy over at the University of Rhode Island, that's where he's getting his degree. So this is something we take serious, we like to make sure all of our students know. So this video is for our students, and also for just people who want to know, and want to learn about nutrition for MMA. Um, if, if you're coming into training, before training, you want to keep in mind to eat light and to try not to eat like 45 minutes before training at all if you can help it. So 30 to 45 minutes before training. So if you're going to eat, uh, I recommend fruit, I recommend um, complex carbohydrates. So you're going to look at oatmeal, you're going to look at um, whole grain breads, things along those lines. And again, we're looking about an hour ahead of training. Post training, you want to get, again, something light. And that natural tendency to not eat a huge meal. Normally, when people work out really hard, they don't want to just go home and stuff their face with a giant juicy steak, right? It's not a natural tendency. That's a good natural tendency. You don't want to do that. So, you want to eat something light, something with carbohydrates, maybe a little bit of protein. Some people like chocolate milk a lot. It's good. It's not going to sit there heavy like food, it's just a liquid. There's a lot of recovery drinks that are good out there. I recommend R4. If you check out R4, that's a really good recovery drink. It's something to grab afterwards. Otherwise, you can wait a little while until, you're cool, until after your cool down and eat something again, complex carbs, something small, something little. Make sure you hydrate yourself. That's another really, really big point. That's why liquids are good. You can get in your protein, you get in your carbohydrates through liquids. That's awesome. We do the milk thing, things like that. If not, just pound your water, take some light carbohydrates after training too. So that's a little bit on pre and post uh, mixed martial arts training nutrition. Hopefully this stuff was helpful for you guys. Um, if you want to learn more, you can go to blackdiamondmma.com. If you fill in your information there, not only do we send out a bunch of video trainings and cool stuff that we do in the gym so you'll learn MMA moves like sitting in a computer chair, but we also send out a free ebook on all the details of uh, pre and post nutrition training for mixed martial arts. So you get our ultimate guide for nutrition training for mixed martial arts, something we give to all of our competitors, something you can have 100% free. Um, it's concise, it's quick, it's got meal plans and all the stuff that you might need to learn more about this. So if you need to check that out, go to blackdiamondmma.com. You can download that ebook for free. If you're in Rhode Island, you want to find a place to train mixed martial arts, we also run a 30-day free trial. So you get all those fitness benefits for a whole month with us for free, as well as our guidance on nutrition and things like that. So hopefully I get to meet you guys soon. Again, this is Coach Dan with Black Diamond Mixed Martial Arts.